so uh, okay maybe not all of it is really OCD or maybe I, I've never really been diagnosed by a professional or anybody for that matter Kevin why do you live with your grandma well I'm her favorite grandson and I get to take care of her uh, and on you know of course I get to live rent free how can you turn your back on your grandson and she cooks the greatest meals it's better than Chinese takeout so Kevin, what does your grandmother think about your situation with you being 33 and living with her? Get a job. Get a job. So what she's really trying to say is uh, she wants me to get well. Uh, so, uh, yes. She, of, got, of course she loves it when I'm here. I get to take care of her. Do you ever feel like you're taking advantage of your grandmother? Take advantage of my grandmother? Come on, I'm the reason why she's still living. Without me, she wouldn't have any reason to live, you know? My parents are still in Hong Kong, you know? I'm over here living the American dream, you know? So... What is your current situation? Um, well, I work from home. I am uh, the founder of my own online company. We make fortune cookies. Why do you work from home? I work from home because uh, I, I was diagnosed with agoraphobia some months ago. I used to have a job, but unfortunately I um, lost it because I couldn't go outside. Is that what the fear is, agoraphobia? Yes, uh, technically it's a fear of escape, a fear of not being able to escape, they said. Has it escalated you know, over, the t over the years? Um, yeah, it's, it's hard. It's very hard to, to leave. Uh, so I do try to go out sometimes, but recently I've been noticing this guy, he kind of hangs out and he kind of just, he's weird. You mean there's someone outside that scares you, that keeps you, that keeps you more inside? Right, right. On top of everything else, yes. What is it about him that scares you? I just, um, he, well, he wears a ski mask and I, 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 I never liked ski masks. So knowing the situation, that Kevin and his girlfriend are in. Do you, do you help out in any way? Sure, yeah, you know, Kevin once in a while gives me a call. Well, let's just say I don't think Angela's leaving her apartment, Kevin, anytime soon. Do you know anything about this man in the ski mask that she sees? Um, I've never seen him before. All I know is that she sees him outside of our um, building every time she wants to leave. So you know of Angela's condition, and she's afraid to go outside. And part of that fear comes from there's a strange man she said she sees outside that wears a ski mask. Have you ever seen this guy? A ski mask? Who would wear a ski mask in the day? Nah, I've never heard of something so idiotic. Never seen him. Behind you, it, on the door, it kind of looks like a, a ski mask. It, is it? Oh, this thing? Nah, it's just an oven mitt. It's not always easy to, you know, put up with each other's idiosyncras idiosyncrasies, but I think we are a good pair and we do fulfill each well, other. Well, uh, so do you feel bad lying to Angela about your OCD? Lying? Ah, she, if anything, she thinks it's cute, you know? Do you love him? Uh... Hey baby, it's too nice, too gorgeous of a day to stay inside. I'm gonna go outside and just be a lazy bum. You want anything while I go to the store? Uh, no, it's okay. All right, baby, I'll see you later. See you. I'm sorry, what was the question? Um, what do you see for yourself in the future? Future? <laughs> oh, it's all about living in the now. Why, why bother thinking about the future when life is so great now, you know? Future, who knows? Maybe, huh? Maybe I'll become an actor or something. You know, I'm so good with this OCD thing. Who knows? Maybe I'll get my own TV special, just like the one on TV, and inspire millions of people. Kevin, what do your parents think? Well. They sent me over here when I was a kid to live the American dream, and hey, look at me now.
I sort of think I am living the American dream, you know?